Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can find some stats including mean, standard deviation, and variance on the Casio FC 200V Financial Consultant Calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the setup key that looks like this located here, the stat key with the shift function of S menu that looks like this located here, and the for key with the shift function of X squared that looks like this located here. For this example, we'll be using this data set here, 10, 10, 20, and 60. To get started, we need to press the STAT key here. That'll bring us to this menu, where we choose which type of STAT we want to find. We want to choose the first one, one variable STATS. So we'll hit EXE to select that. That brings us to this table here, where we can enter our data set. If we have multiple of the same number, like for example, we have multiple tens in our data set, we can use a frequency list to make that easier. But for this example right now, we'll just enter it the normal way. So we'll go ahead and enter 10, enter, 10, enter, 20, enter, and 60. Enter. There we go, we've got our data set entered. Now we can clear out of this with the AC key. You'll now see the word stat at the top of the screen, letting us know we're in stat mode. Now we can go ahead and press shift stat for the S menu, which brings us to this menu here. Our first option is number one, type. That'll just confirm our stat type, which number one is one variable, that's what we're using. And again, brings us to our list. If we go back to the stat menu, number two is data. That just brings us back to our data in case we wanna to add to it. Number three is edit, if we want to edit our data set. So we can either insert something if we need to, or number two, delete all. If we choose that, it'll delete our entire data set. Now let's look at some results. If we choose number four, sum, that brings us to this menu here. We can choose number one to get our sum of squares. That puts it on our screen. And if we hit EXE, we see we get the result of 4,200, which is correct. Go back to our menu. And we can also choose number two here, sum, which will be the sum of all our data entered. And we see that gives us 100, which 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 60 equals 100. Yeah, that makes sense. Next, we can look at number five, var or variables, which gives us this menu here. So we can choose number one, n, which is the number of variables in our data set and gives us four, which is correct. Number two in this menu is X bar or mean. So we select that and we see we get a mean of our data set of 25.
Next, number three here is population standard deviation. So we can press three to get that, hit EXE, and our population standard deviation is 20.6155, etc. And if we want to get our population variance, we just square that with the shift four. So we get our answer squared, hit EXE. To see we get a population variance of 425. Our final variable in this menu is number four, sample standard deviation. So we can select four to get our sample standard deviation of 23.80476, etc. And again, if we want to get our sample variance, all we have to do is press Shift 4 to square that, hit EXE, and we get a sample variance of 566.666, etc. And finally, we have number 6, our min and max. So if we hit 6, we see number one is our minimum x or our minimum number in our data set, which is 10. And if we select our max, number two, we see we get the max is 60. If we have a large data set with the same number occurring multiple times, we can use the frequency list to make entering our data easier. To do that, we press the setup key and then scroll down. Until we see stat and usually it says off. So if we hit exe here, we'll have the option to turn stat on or off. We want to turn that on right now. So we'll press one and then we can escape out of there. Now let's enter our data set again. So we press stat and choose one bar. And now we see we have two lists here, one for our X or our variables and one for our frequency. So we start by entering a 10. But now, since we have multiple 10s, instead of entering that 10 each time, we can go to our frequency list and tell it that 10 occurs twice. So we press 2 there. There we go, we have 10 twice. Next, we have 20. So we put our 20 in, hit EXE. And we see it defaults to 1, and that's okay here because we only have 120, and then 60. And again, our 60 defaults to 1, and that's okay because we only have 160. Our data has been entered, and now we can clear out of that with the AC key again. Now, if we go to our stat menu with Shift Stat, and look at our, say, variables, number five, and we choose number one, the number of variables, we see we're getting four again, even though we only entered our three individual different numbers. Our mean is still 25. And our population standard deviation is still 20.6155, etc. So we know that worked. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.